In this tip, we're going to look at the inroads command of deleting triangles by filter. A side bonus for this um, command is that it can automatically add an exterior boundary into a DTM as well. What we have here is a DTM displayed or the triangles out of a surface displayed. And you can see that we have extraneous triangles here that really aren't part of the surface. They shouldn't be there. So let's just zoom in, take a little bit of a look at those. And obviously if we do something like view contours, they're going to display in that area of the DTM where they really shouldn't exist. Now that creates a little bit of a problem for obviously displaying like triangles, profiles, cross sections, or even volume comps that would come into play in computations. So we really don't want that. So let's look at the command that's been released with Select Series 2. So if I go to Surface, we can go to Edit Surface, and we can delete triangles by filter. So this command really has two functions. It removes triangles and it will also add an exterior boundary into a DTM, which let's go ahead and do that when we're done with the command here. And let's pick a uh, feature style called exterior boundary. But that's really uh, towards the end of the command. That's where we're looking at. So what I want to do is I want to just work through uh, the dialogues here. What I can do is define a maximum leg of any triangle the maximum length of that leg. If I hit apply, I get a preview of the results. You really have to accept or reject once you're uh, ready to execute the command. I'm not quite ready, so I'm going to right click. And the reason I'm not ready, I'll use this as an example down here, is we are eliminating some long triangles that exceeded 500 feet in length. But we can also define the minimum angle. If I hit apply, we'll also see that it removes a few more triangles in here. But I also know there's some that's really outside the limits of the survey here. And we can catch those by defining the maximum angle of any vertex of the triangle. So now I can see that those are going to be removed. And we can also specify an elevation range. Now read help before you use these. If you select the high command, every triangle with a vertice that's higher than ele elevation gets removed conversely with the low. And if you toggle them both on, everything within that range is deleted, not preserved, deleted. So, once again, read help, take a look at that before you use it. So let's go back, get that preview that we had. I'm just going to use the uh, length and the minimum and maximum angle and add an exterior boundary. When I select apply, I get the preview. It looks pretty good. I'm going to left click on the screen to accept it. It automatically deletes those triangles, adds the exterior boundary in, and redisplays the triangles. So if I close out here, just go look at my surface properties. I can now see that there is an exterior boundary added into my DTM. So that's a pretty efficient way to get rid of triangles that shouldn't be there and add an exterior boundary into a DTM. Thank you for watching.